Hello friends. So our next Java program question is related to taking the input from user and we have to convert that into string in the reverse order. So you have given a question like create a Java program that take the input from user in a string and we have to convert that string in a reverse order. So you have given an input like a equal to string and we have to reverse that is a output as a G and R I S T S. So that will be the in the reverse order of string. So let's start directly to the uh, program. So first of all, we have to. Take the input and uh, like uh, we have to just create the main dot Java file. In that we have to first create main method that will take the input and that will run the application so that first I will create the scanner class. So that class which will uh, take the input from user. Scanner. Yes, C equal to new scanner in that I'm going to pass uh, system dot in so that will take the input stream and that will convert that string and that take the input from user. So after that we have to take the input. So we have to take the input in the strings because we are converting the string into reverse string. So that is why the data type is string. I am going to give the str as a variable name. New, that is sc dot next. So there are two methods that is next and next line. So here we are using next line because sometimes user can send like this string user. So user can send the data like this. So we have to use this next line. If you use the next, so that will take only this string and then we have to take this also. So that is why we are taking the next line. So that is why I'm taking the next line as a next uh, method in the to take the input from user. So before that, I have to just give the description about how what we need to type and that. So I will give the enter the string that need to convert. And then after that, I will just create the another method that will reverse the string and that will re return the what you say string. So reverse string in bracket string str and it will take the string and that will reverse. So first of all, I will just create the string builder because we cannot store the string in the string class and that will increase the our string pool and that is why we have to use a string builder to convert that and reverse the string so to new string builder and we have to just append that that is present to store the any string in the string builder we have to use append and we have to just pass the str and there is one method that is present in the string builder that is st dot reverse that will reverse the string and we have to just return string dot to string that will convert the, that string into string that will string builder that will convert into string so that is the so we have to just call this method so main dot reverse string and we have to store in the string also string yes t so that is the thing and we have to just print the st and i will give some more information about reverse string and i will close the scanner class that is sc dot close so that will close this scanner class. Uh, so I will run that. So here if you want to see the I have first created the string builder that will store the string and that will reverse that is present in the string builder that will convert that string and that will reverse the string. So that is the thing. If you check I am going to try and enter the input that is string and it is going to reverse that. If I pass the string like in after space like a full sentence that is string user. 
it will reverse that also. So stream user, yes. So I am getting in the reverse order. That also. So this is the thing, and you can also use the if you don't want to use inbuilt function. So we can use also like a for loop. So for init i equal to str dot length. That is a method that will give the length of the string minus one greater than equal to zero i minus one. So I am uh, applying the reverse for loop to the string. And I am going to store that in uh, string builder. So st dot append str dot care at i. So it will get the uh, string character and it will store in the uh, string builder. And we have to just return this same result that is string st dot to string. So if you check the result. I'm going to pass the string only. So we are getting the same result. And we can also do the like uh, convert that in character. That is char character equal to str dot to char array. And we have to just reverse that array dot so that will sort in the ascending order. So we don't want that. So we have to just create one more array and we can store that. So I will care one more array. So we can also take the string builder. That is st equal to new string builder. And we have to just apply the for loop in it. I equal to what you say. Characters dot length minus one i is greater than zero i minus minus and we have to just pass st dot append that is characters of i so it will append that and it is going to return that so we will check that also so i'm going to pass same string and we are getting same result so these are the techniques that will uh, reverse the string in the reverse direction. So thank you. We will do another Java programming next video.